Well, a warm welcome along then to LUTV's coverage of the first pre-season friendly of the new season. Leeds United taking on Geisley at Nethermore Park. Sam Greenwood looks like he's going to line one up. And how good he can be from these situations to keep it decides to go with the punch approach it's going to fall out towards Joe Gelhart who will keep it skin tight and he does turn his marker it's so good from Gelhart on into his left foot it comes scoops it inside looking for Somerville it'll get to him eventually he goes down gets back up on his feet now he goes to ground that should be a penalty Leeds United uh, will celebrate great work from uh, Somerville and Gelhart the keeper another one that's on a trial tonight just trying to unnerve the Leeds United players but from start to finish Ben seeing the, the trickery from Joe Gallagher it's the first time the fans have been able to see it up close Somerville to step, step up there now can he score right footed drills it into the far corner Leeds United's preceding campaign gets off to a successful start in the first 20 minutes they lead at Nethermore Park against Geisley thanks to a penalty from Crescencio Somerville and uh, a fine penalty at that how many times have we seen that over the course of the last 12 months or so close control on the touchline from Joe Gellar a little Cruyff turn drives into the box a little pass inside you think Somerville's lost it's fallen to the floor but just the speedy reaction the close control draw, draws a foul definite penalty and the only surprise it wasn't Joe Gellar who actually taken the taken the penalty kick himself but why would he when Somerville can show great composure sends the keeper the wrong way And now Felix has turned, no one can, he's got in behind him. Now he's going to try and stay and get uh, composed. Ball comes in, it's a finish through the uh, the legs, or sorry, just under the arm, in fact, I think of Elia Capril and Geisley straight away on the counter. It's a good team goal, in, in fairness, Bent. Down the right-hand side, little cutback, and it looks to be uh, Bailey Thompson that's uh, sent Elia Capril the wrong way. Perhaps expected it to go down to his left, and he just didn't get down low enough with his right palm, and it is one apiece. Can the two... The United youngsters decide amongst themselves who's going to take it. Galhart has had more of a look at this one. Whether that's to try and confuse the keeper. Sam Greenwood took one from a very similar position. I think he's maybe having a quick word with his Leeds United teammate, his close friend as well. A couple of minutes to go until half time. Will it be fourth time lucky for Greenwood? Or can Galhart show him how it's done? Greenwood does step up, right for it, oh it's a peach and it's the same copybook, new season, same outcome, Sam Greenwood free kick, flies into the top corner, guys they won, Leeds United 2. And the big smile, the congratulations, the laughs on the teammates as well, that says it all doesn't it Tom, we thought it was three strikes and out but not a chance, he's having this one all day long, the technique on that is absolutely superb. China Cresswell deals with it impeccably well. Same can be said of Coda Drama, who skips around one player. Now he's on his way down the right hand side. Somerville's already committed his run. The two of them get confused on each other's plans. Somerville's now going to try and keep this ball in play. Has he done so? He thinks he has. He's into the box to come. Somerville trying to go to across the face of goal. He can. And at the far post is Charlie Allen and Crescencio Somerville. Might have opened the scoring, but it's an even bigger influence uh, for the third goal for Leeds United. He somehow kept that ball in play and he's put it on a plate for young Charlie Allen to make it. Guys, they won Leeds United 3. He bamboozles defenders, he bamboozles us in the commentary position here because some of the footwork, how he keeps the ball in such tight spaces, I really don't know how he does it. He's got no right to keep this ball in here. The defender's always favourite to let it go out. Shows strength, shows desire, keeps it in. And the, that usual position there, where it's so close to the byline, you come on your left-hand side because there's no space to the right, but the magician that he is, he just creates his own space, and then it's a simple tapping for Charlie Allen, but all good midfield players doing that, breaking into the box, sniffing out little opportunities. Shot comes in, Capril makes a good first save and a second to try and get there, but Geisley just about sneak it home and it is one of the uh, substitutes uh, for the home side that's managed to just about pick out a corner. Leeds for the second time in this match, once they've scored, concede again and it's Lewis Hay that's uh, got the ball into the back of the net. Yeah, Alan 
dispossessed as the uh, referee decides that that is enough uh, for this pre-season friend and Leeds United get their campaign off to a winning start a 3-2 victory 2-1 up at uh, half time thanks to goals from Somerville and Greenwood the latter there with another exquisite free kick Guy they showed great heart to uh, keep Leeds uh, within a one score margin but Charlie Allen stepping off the bench to tap in in the dying second so that's all for the first pre-season friendly thanks again for joining us on LUTV it's finished Guy's 2 Leeds United 3